Good morning, friends. How are you? Sunny day right now, but as I came in uh, to my office, whew, it's a little windy and a little cool, but glorious. I love blue sky, don't you? I love it. Spring, all the things budding, popping, green grass. We just had the uh, grass cut for the first time on at our complex here, our building. Good stuff. Listen, here's a thought. I was on Facebook the other day and catching just whatever you catch on Facebook, just kind of scrolling up and down and whatever. And I came across a t-shirt that was advertised and it said, the church has left the building. And I thought to myself, yes, that is so, so urgently needed. And it reminded me, we've been going through the book of Acts. We're pausing now for a few weeks, but in Acts, we stopped at the end of chapter eight but in chapter 7, one of the most pivotal moments in the early life of the church was the martyrdom, the death of Stephen. Stephen was the first of what would be many over time. But that incident, that was a crisis moment, a COVID-19 moment, if you will. It's, it stung. It, it resulted in the scattering of the church. The church is not a building. It's not a time of the week. It's not a day. Uh, it's a people. It's a person. It's a, uh, a boy, a teenager, an adult, a man, woman, uh, uh, who have come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. The church, when Stephen was martyred, it scattered. It says in chapter 8, on the cusp of uh, Saul's... Uh, his persecution. It says, And Saul approved of the execution, and there arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem, and they were all scattered. They left. They went. They did what they were int intended to do when Jesus gave that great commission to go and make disciples of all nations. In chapter, uh, in chapter 11, verse uh, 19, it says, now those who were scattered because of the persecution, because of the virus, the pandemic uh, that arose over Stephen, traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, speaking the word to no one except, uh, except Jews. But there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who were coming to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists, the rest of the world. Friends, let's take advantage of the opportunity we have. Let's not have post-lockdown uh, regrets that we didn't do things that were so available to us to do and uh, sharing, talking, connecting with people. Have a good day. Keep in touch, please. CalvaryBible.Church. I would love to hear from you. Bye.